Hey everybody, welcome back to this session. So glad that you're here. I'm having a great time. I hope you're having a great time listening to In the Gap. Today, I wanna to talk about Noah. This is what I learned about Noah. Noah was all in, no matter the cost. You see, when we compare the current news reports to the conditions when Noah's day and his family lived, we might conclude not much has changed. The entire human race back then, and probably now, was corrupt in their own ways which includes twisted purposes, abusive relationships, vile words, darkened hearts. Evil doesn't start with actions, it begins with selfish, twisted thoughts. A sin is conceived in the mind, considered in the heart, and then pursued with action. James chapter one tells us. Of course, when wicked people believe they're doing the right thing for the right reasons, they keep doing it. The writer said in the Old Testament, in Judges, every man did that which was right in his own eyes. I think Noah's day was parallel to our day. 2022, Noah's day, amazingly close. People have almost unlimited capacity for self-destruction and blame shifting. Some of us think God delights in, I'm gonna say, blasting people who stray from Him blasting those who do wrong and can't do right. God only delights in showing people love and blessings. Can I just say that one more time? God only delights in showing people with love and blessings and showering them with grateful hearts. You see, many years later, Jesus referred to Noah in regard to his coming back in the early church. He said this in Matthew 24, as it was in the days of Noah, there's a comparison, so will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. We see similar conditions today, an epidemic of pornography and graphics from the media, widespread adultery, children abusing other kids. Well, in schools now we call it bullying. So horrible that in some cases, unfortunately, these kids have committed suicide. The persistent problems of drugs, violence, gangs, rape, murder, sexual assaults, it's just, it's horrific. We're living in a, in a rough time. But when society experiences moral failure, God looks for a man or a woman to stand in the gap. Someone who will have hope in everything, in the hopeless situations to have faith in the darkest and dire situations, to lead when almost nobody will follow. You see, watch this, God found Noah. Noah shows us that it's possible to be godly in a godless generation. Standing in the gap is costly. It requires sacrifice of our time, our energy, and our hearts. We can expect opposition, ridicule, and mocking from others. Only two people in the Old Testament are said to have expressively found favor in the eyes of God, Noah and Moses. You see, this is what I know. Both of them rescued God's people. God had been extremely patient with the wicked people in Noah's time and in Moses' time, but they both stood in the gap. He and his sons, Noah, were working. They kept building, they kept trusting, they kept waiting, and the rain began to fall. They knew it was coming and they were going to be ready. The Bible says this, that Noah was a righteous man, blameless among people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Based on the account of Genesis, God only spoke to him one time. One time, do you get that? One time, and Noah said, I got it, God. Was Noah's faithfulness important? I would say yes. The faith and the confidence that Noah heard from God, and God speaks to him once. I'll say his faith was very important. If Noah had given up or bailed out on God, no one would have survived. Nobody would have made it. Noah built a ship, an ark on dry ground. To others, his actions appeared foolish, but it was an act of authentic faith to God. Thankfully, Noah was a builder, not a quitter. He was faithful, not fearful. 
Maybe, just maybe God's timing often seems agonizingly slow. We receive a promise and we trust God to honor it, but it takes forever before we begin to see the fulfillment or the fruition. Let this lesson of In the Gap encourage you not to give up hope. Do not be dismayed. Think about Noah. How many years of building, 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 working, 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 faithful, 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 and then suddenly one day, I think one of his boys, hey dad, do you feel that? No, what son? Something wet hit my forehead. Is this what, is this why we're building the ark, dad? Maybe son. I can just imagine the conversations over all the years. My counsel to you today, the takeaway is, be faithful in the gap and you shall see the fulfillment according to God. This is so. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for listening. May God bless us all.